In this video, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial of how you can leverage Copilot to combine multiple data sources within Excel. My name is John David, and I'm a professor that teaches analytics at Greensboro College. And in my classroom, I often teach my students that if you're limited to only analyzing one data source at a time, it really limits the depth and the overall quality of the analysis that you can conduct. First, let's start with the end in mind. So here is the end result. So we are going to be combining multiple data sets together using an X lookup. And Copilot's actually going to write out the column. And all we're going to have to do is insert it, like so. All right, so now we've got a fresh tab. Here's our sales data and our in-stock data tab. And if we click on our item details, we can see that we have color, but no metrics. So we need to combine these two data sets. So if you head to Home and Copilot, let's start trying to get Copilot to add this in. So we could start with, hey, add color. And let's see what it comes back with. All right, so this first attempt is a miss. And it's trying to interpret what I'm saying, but my prompt engineering in this situation was too broad. Next, let's try something else. So now let's try color data and see if that helps Copilot understand a little bit more. All right, unfortunately, Copilot is saying that I can't understand or I can't help you with this request. So now let's get quite a bit more specific. And this is where effective prompt engineering comes into play. So let's get very, very specific and define what color is. So color is a column that exists in the item details data tab. And we need to combine it with our in stock data. So giving AI enough context is very critical to you actually getting the right result. And I included those two kind of mistakes or misses just to kind of drive home the point of AI is not perfect. And there's also kind of an interplay between how you're prompting it and what it can understand. So now that we've got a pretty beefy prompt, let's see what happens. All right, and there we go. We were effective in our prompt engineering this third try, and it gave it exactly what we wanted. So we wanted to include the color column in our in-stock data tab. All we needed to do is hit insert column, and bam, there we go. 